Hi there, and welcome to another video by Dave Tromp. This video will be um, a technical video about how to install um, the MetaTrader platform on Linux, specifically on Ubuntu Linux. I've made a video about doing this uh, about four years ago, or three and a half years ago. It was in September 2015, and uh, since then uh, Ubuntu has changed, um, MetaTrader has changed a bit, and uh, Wine, the software that I'll be using to install um, MetaTrader on Ubuntu, has changed. So I think it's time for an update. Also, there have been some comments uh, below this video um, with some questions, and uh, people uh, are asking uh, where can I install the indicators or custom indicators. So. Um, I thought uh, I'd do a new video and uh, show you how I install um, MetaTrader on Ubuntu Linux and uh, how I um, install indicators and things like that. So let's uh, let's have a look. So um, MetaTrader, for those who don't know what MetaTrader is, MetaTrader is a software that is used by many, uh, mostly Forex brokers and uh, also CFD brokers uh, that will allow you to trade. Um, it's uh, built for um, uh, Windows, but it can also run on uh, Mac OS X and on Linux. Using uh, on, uh, <coughs> on Linux, you can use uh, Wine to run as a Windows emulator, uh, and then run uh, MetaTrader on it. So let's say uh, we will download MetaTrader 4. Uh, we will be looking at MetaTrader 4, not at MetaTrader 5. Um, and we will download it from FX Open, for instance. So let's uh, download it. So download started. Let me get myself out of the way. Um, I believe I've already installed this, so um, let's go to the path where it's installed usually. So if you do Ctrl H in the uh, Nautilus uh, file uh, explorer, you can see all the hidden um, directories. And then in the hidden directories, there is a wine directory. If you have installed wine already, and I have done this already, so what I will do, I will clean up my installation. So I'll go to program files, and then you can see here it says MetaTrader uh, for FX Open. So let's just, uh, I'm not going to remove it because I probably want to use it again. Let's rename it and let's call it old. Okay, I should have done this before before I started uh, recording the video, I guess. Um, but uh, let's continue. So we've downloaded the uh, MetaTrader 4 platform. It's uh, here in our downloads folder. So if we say show in folder, you can see it's, it's here. So if I double click it, it will open it and uh, you can install it. But before you can do this, like I am doing this, you need to install. So I'm going to say uh, cancel installation for now. Uh, before you do this, you have to have Wine installed. So you can install Wine uh, using uh, sudo apt-get and then get it from the Ubuntu repositories, but it's best to get the latest version of Wine. So let's see, I have version 4.0.3. So you can see it as well here, 4.0.3. And maybe I should zoom in a little bit. No. All right. So if you install Wine from the uh, default repositories from Ubuntu, you get an older version and you don't want that. So you need to go to um, the Wine uh, website. So you go to winehq.org. Then you're in the, at the home page. At the home page, you go to download. 
and then you select your distribution uh, in, in our case it's Ubuntu you select Ubuntu and then you follow these instructions so um, a very important thing is that you need to set the architecture type to uh, 32 bits uh, because uh, most computers nowadays are and most uh, Ubuntu versions that you will install are 64-bit uh, and Wine only runs 32-bit uh, so uh, you can open a terminal using Control alt t or um, that's on my MacBook Pro at least uh, probably it's gonna be yeah I think also Control alt t on, on many uh, computers and then you just paste in using uh, Control shift v uh, the command that you just copied and then the sudo the package at architecture i386 will set the 32-bit architecture so now the um, architecture has been set and then you will need to install the repositories so you will need to download a, a key and then install this key um, so let's do that I've already done it but uh, let's do it again just to show you uh, already there so it's not retrieving and then we need to add the key to the keychain okay that's done now you need to add the uh, repository for your uh, Ubuntu version so I'm currently running the long-term um, Ubuntu version 18.04 so I will copy this command and then add that and then enter So it's adding the uh, repository of wine to my repositories and then updating and from then on you can install um, wine stable or the development branch or the staging branch and I believe I've installed the development branch because you get a earlier version but let's first install the stable branch let's see uh, what version we get let me see okay so I've installed the stable branch it's the 4.0.3 so I suggest you do this as well um, because with uh, my installation uh, wine is working with MetaTrader 4 so it's already installed so it's not installing it um, but you can use the stable version so let's switch back so this version you can install so just copy this line and then paste it into your uh, uh, terminal and then enter and then it will be installed okay so now we have um, wine installed on our Ubuntu system and we have set the architecture it's very important don't forget to do uh, this because uh, else you will get um, messages that uh, it cannot install or um, some things will just not work um, now we will go back to the um, download folder and we will click on the uh, exe file that we downloaded uh, and then it should continue installing FX open MetaTrader so just click next like you're on Windows as you can see it says here 32-bit so um, that's why you had to set the architecture so let's wait a little bit and oh, it's done I believe finish and there it is now we have to wait um, for MetaTrader to start it will take some time uh, at least at the, at the beginning because it will have to place all kinds of files and there we go so now it started up 
and I'm gonna close this because I don't have my login details uh, with me and I will switch to the other version that I had already installed and we'll take it from there so I'm gonna close this out and we'll go back here to the uh, so you can see it installed MetaTrader, ECN, FX Open, uh, and this was the old install. So I'm gonna rename this one. I'm gonna say it was the new one, and this one I'm gonna rename it again. Okay. Okay. So we have um, we have it installed. What else we need to do? Let's have a look what's inside of the folder. We can open the terminal by clicking here and it should open up MetaTrader. Okay, so now it's logged into my uh, demo account and you can see it's, it's uh, making a connection. Um, mm, okay. So let's see how we can uh, install some custom indicators uh, that we can find on the internet. So um, you can get um, indicators from the market. But this is um, a system that's really um, integrated with uh, with Windows and the uh, Internet Explorer I believe so if we open this one it's probably not working okay so um, I must uh, admit that um, I haven't been using a MetaTrader for quite some time um, uh, but uh, I could uh, find uh, some indicator as an example that uh, I can show you how to install it um, so I just uh, googled um, Ichimoku indicator for MT4 and I found this one uh, let's see if we can install it um, so Let's go to the downloads folder. So I found this Ichimoku alert uh, indicator. So I'm just gonna say copy. And then I'm gonna go to my home folder, press Ctrl H. Then I get all the hidden folders. Um, let's mm, close. Let's move myself to the side. Then go to the wine folder. And in the wine folder or the dot wine folder you have a drive C and you click on that and then it's like you are in a Windows file system so you have um, program files and program files for the 32 uh, bits programs so you go to that one you find the uh, FX open MetaTrader installation and then you have to place the file on the appropriate place so it's probably in the mql4 experts so if i paste it in here ichimoku alert has been pasted in there then i need to restart the uh, metatrader so i'm gonna quit metatrader and then i'm gonna restart it so i'm gonna click on terminal.exe and it restarts okay so now you can see that on the here the expert advisor has the Ichimoku alert so let's see if we can drop it in it should work and it's not so attached to chart that's not working as well so let's see if we can modify it and compile it so by modifying it, uh, the editor, uh, the meta editor will open and then you can run compile. So let's run compile. Let's 
see what it says. Zero errors. Okay, that's done. Let's see if we can drop it in now. Let's refresh. Now apparently it's uh, it's not working. Is this an expert advisor or is it a indicator? Maybe I didn't read the uh, should read expert advisor. So I'm gonna cut off the video here and. Uh, do some research before I will uh, continue the video. Okay, I figured it out <laughs> what was going on. Um, apparently, um, it was not an expert advisor that I downloaded, but a uh, indicator that uh, plots the uh, Ichimoku, but also sends emails uh, when um, signals appear on the Ichimoku cloud. So. Um, what I did is I went back to the uh, MQL folder and I picked up the um, Ichimoku expert, expert from uh, from here. This is the compiled uh, version that I'm gonna delete now. Um, and then I moved it over to the indicators folder. Yeah, so I'll, I dropped it in here, where is it? So it's here, Ichimoku alert and it's been compiled automatically. That's this file here. And then I restarted um, MetaTrader. And then you can see that it shows up here. So th this is the uh, default Ichimoku that's, that comes with MetaTrader and this is the Ichimoku Alert version four. So if we drop that in, then you can see there's a pop-up that uh, allows you to customize the uh, indicator. Uh, you can give it your inputs and here it looks like it will um, create some sound alerts and email alerts if you want and then if you click OK then you can see there's the indicator so this is how you install a custom indicator on MetaTrader 4 okay I'm gonna leave it at that I hope it uh, helped uh, answer some questions that uh, were posted below uh, the previous video and uh, I hope you like this video and uh, give it a thumbs up if you do and uh, leave a comment if you have any other questions and uh, I'll see if I can get back to those questions as well. Okay, talk to you uh, later.